unaweza regulate kama mtu wako na 100 acres akitaka kuuza 20 ndio apate kuji invest hiyo ni sawa bora asiwe amemaliza kabisa Kenya ni nchi ya yetu wote kwa hivyo mtu akinunua shamba hakuna threat kwamba mtu atafukuzwa hapo watu wataendelea kuishi kwa ile mashamba wamenunua kwa hivyo wamasai sisi hatuna shida na na kukana kabila zingine our people are selling land they are selling land because of poverty others they are selling because of hospital bills they cannot cater although the governor was uh, in a position to regulate the selling of land but actually the county assembly never came with uh, any 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 law which will regulate the the, the selling of the land but Raila was saying if we can get a way of uh, eradicating poverty in the country, then the Maasai will not sell their land anyhow. For example, you can get a, a resident here whereby Babayaki Ali 400 acres and now he's zero. Where is that guy go? And he has a very young children. So we, Raila was misquoted. And uh, actually, we want our land to be at least to go in a, in a, in a, regulated, in a regulated manner. manner. Yeah. Yeah. The people who have already bought, bought their lands, and nothing will happen to them. Mm -hmm. They will stay peacefully. Kajado is a peaceful county. Even in 2007, general election, you saw Kajado is the only place where there was no wrangles. So Kajado is a peaceful place. Yes, but I would like to encourage our people. Before you send the land, you have to think twice. Because even me, when today I have 10 acres and I have children, and then I will send two, I will remain in with eight, isn't it? When my child sends another one, completely you are going to finish yourself. So to me, I will not encourage people to send the land, but let us maintain and uh, uh, to our community who are the Maasai. I would like to tell them, let us not sell our land because we have to think our future, where, where our children are going to live, where our businesses are going to invest. What, what about those people who want to do it for economic uh, empowerment? You have a thousand acres and you just want to sell just a fraction of it to, you know, get a uh, better living. Uh, to me, I cannot encourage anybody to sell, even if it is you have thousand acres. Live there because even your parent have lived all of those years and they have never sell na ujakufa nanja so i cannot to me i'm neg negative to that mm -hmm. and i cannot support that at all at all so ni amusho ni nini hapa inafanya watu waudo ni shida itama ya pesa ama ni nini eh ya kwanza ni shida gharama ya maisha iko juu and some people they can see when i sell a land that the time that you can get safe and to our community i myself i witness some people they have sent our land and for now they back to zero in fact, hata wana ambao wajauza afadhali ukae tu na ile biashara yako kidogo than because our youth in our days they don't want to struggle they don't want to work. You unaenda pale unaangalia shamba yenu ni aka 100 unauza 10 upate gari kubwa upate nyumba kubwa maisha ya haraka. I cannot encourage the youth to do that. To me you just work fanya biashara kidogo then other alternative because it's not selling the land that you are going to solve all your issues. Kwa hivyo mimi ile kitu naweza sema ni mipangilio tu ya kwamba mtu kama anausa shamba pengine kama ni shida kwa sababu utakuta kuna wengi mtu wako na shida ambayo haiwezi suia kufanya nini kuusa lile shamba na ukiangalia vizuri e, kwa wale ambayo ukiangalia vizuri kwa wale ambayo wameusa mashamba e, ukiangalia Kajado County vizuri twende pande ya twende pande ya nini pande ya matapato utakuta mtu wako na Three, 300 acres. Lakini unakuta huyo mtu anaita mfanyi, mtu wana fence hiyo shamba yote analipwa. Akishua li ule mtu na si mgonjwa wako nae, si mtoto wa shula wako nae, watoto bado ni wadogo ya anahama. Hiyo siyo haki. Kwa hivyo hile kitu hiko, ni wanasiasa wakome kutuletea siyasa chafu na sisi atutaki siyasa chafu. Kama ni kuhusa shamba mtu wanausa shamba, kuwe na mipangilio, kuwe na mikakati ambayo kama mtu wako na shida, ifuatiliwe ni shida gani yako nae nafanya ya usa shamba. Kwa sababu kama kuna isakuwa na mshida ambayo inaisa nifanya mimi ni uze shamba, ni sawa yangaliwe ni nini, lakini isi inkiswe siyasa kwa mba mtu anasema atifulani ya sinunue shamba na pingine, mimi ni kuna shida. Na mahali ambayo naesa pata, na mahali ambayo naesa pata isi pesa ambayo inaisa nisaidia hii shida, ni, iyo, ni kwa hiyo shamba. Watu wasi use mashamba, because hata sahi kiusu wa shamba, 
wenye wana wana wenye wataumia ni watoto maana wataenda wapi wale watoto ambao wanazaliwa wataenda wapi na kama mimi mzazi ninaweza sema kwamba niko na watoto ambao ni wachanga na wanahitaji kuwa na mahali pa, pa kukaa ama pa kuishi katika maisha yao Ma, nini maisha yao ya kesho inategemea mapato kutoka kwa wazazi na kama sasa hawatapata hiyo shamba ina maana basi watakuwa wakirandaranda hata wale wanarandaranda barabarani kwa sababu hawana makao ya, wale ambao wamenunua mashamba ile kitu mimi ninawasi ni kwamba wakae katika ile amani ambayo wamekuta wamasai wakiishi naye wasiingilie kujaribu kuharibu mila ya kimasai kwa sababu watakapo ujaribu kutoka nje na kulete mambo yao ya nje ama vile kule wametoka basi hapo ndio amani itaharibika but kwa kikaa pamoja na sisi wakae katika ile amani sisi tuko naye kaunti ya Kajiado iko na amani hatuna msusuku kwa mwana yoyote kwa hivyo tunapenda wenzetu wale ambao waliotangulia kununua but saa hii wasilete mambo ambayo ni ya pengine ya kuchukia mtu ama kudharau mwingine hata kama wewe ni wachama fulani wewe ni umetoka area fulani ama wewe ni kabila fulani usilete hiyo tukae kama wandugu kwa sababu sisi ni wakenya